morning. We are going to a barrel race. It is a small jackpot about three hours away and it's also a breakaway roping so Chester will get to see some cows. The weather is okay. I woke up to the sound of thunder so you know that's always a great sign for a barrel race but we're still going. Um, we got him a stall so he can go in there especially if we get in there early. He can chill in there and especially if it rains. Also our new trailer is pretty roomy. If it does start lightning and I need to throw him up in there, we can do that too. Don't leave your horse tied to the trailer and lightning. Please. So I will meet you back at the barn. It's actually pretty sunny right now, but I think it's like definitely going to rain later. There's rain all over everything. I think it rained all night and I woke up to thunder but it's not raining right now so hopefully it'll hold off till we get on the road so I'm not moving my tack and everything at the barn while it's pouring. Okay we are at the barn and before we can leave I have to get these ice vibe ice packs from the freezer that's here. Move all of my tack over to this trailer and make him a hay bag and then he will be ready to load up. It's kind of far but it's not it's not too bad. I really like this arena and the dirt there is normally pretty good. There's so many pops in here. Okay, I got them. And I actually have four ice packs today. So I will be able to ice five his front and his back legs very comfortably. They'll be really cold. So I am heavy about that. I found them in like a random room in my house. I don't know why they're there, but we've got four now. Now I'm going to move on my tack so that we have everything. Hay bag is made and hung. All of my tack is in here so we can go give him his omeprazole to kind of coat his stomach for the ride. Hauling can be pretty stressful for them so I just want to be proactive and make sure he doesn't develop any sort of ulcers. That's what the omeprazole is for and then he can load up to go. Kite just gets to hang out and eat hay but he's gonna scream at me anyway. Chester takes medicine really good. I'm not going to video it because I don't have a good place to put my camera. Chester has his own like pasture where he can go in and out of his stall. So he always has the fly mask on. But even if he didn't have one on, I always haul with one. Especially if I have a hay bag because I don't want that all blowing around in his eyes or anything blowing in the window into his eyes either. No, you have food. Got food in the trailer, I promise. Since the haul was three hours, I get him out of the trailer and walk him around for a little bit. We did rent the stall for the day when we thought it was going to be raining all day, so I'm walking him next to it waiting on them to come unlock it. He gets a nice drink and then the stall is unlocked and I'm trying to figure out how to get these shavings and him both in here by myself. So that is what I am doing right now. I 
after he is settled in there, I go grab that bucket again and give him a little more water and he gets a nice little snack. He's going to be missing dinner at his usual time and I like for them to have something on their stomachs before they run. So he does get a nice little snack with his drink of water. He's all settled into his little day stall moment. I still had a while before I needed to start saddling, so I had a little bit of pizza and took a nap. Pizza in the bowl. He is pretty um, covered in alfalfa and a little gross, so I'm taking him to the trailer to get tacked up. We have about like 40-ish minutes till it starts, and we still don't have a draw, so I don't know when we're running, but he's kind of gross, and I just want to hop on and ride him around too. I moved the camera all myself, so gotta give myself plenty of time so I'm not late because I have been late before. So it's pretty chill, laid back, not that many people are here. So it should not be too bad. Just a little fun day. It hasn't rained yet and the chance is looking really good. Uh, or better, I guess, less likely. And now the chance went back up. So hopefully it doesn't start raining. I go to pick his feet, really checking them, but there is nothing in them. He is saddled. We're running in our master saddle and master breast collar that they very kindly sent to us. If you order a master saddle, tell them Sadie sent you. Um, I'm just warming him up in bell boots right now. Keep all that heat off of his legs. Gonna throw all four on before we run. Still don't know the draw and it's like 10 minutes or 20-ish minutes till it starts, but that's okay. There's only like 40 people running. So I'm gonna put on my running boots and hop on. So excited. I did find out that I am number 20, so I'm gonna wait just a second to go warm up. He is really looking for some food. Go get some after. Today he was really pretty hot in our warm up to start off. Some days are like that. Some days he looks perfect and some days we are a little ready to go. He has not been running as much so I'm going to blame it on that. Before I run any of my horses I do make sure that I walk, trot, and lope both ways.
like no airflow in the warm-up and he was already kind of hot on his own so I walk him out in the breeze letting him catch his breath with me on the ground and just let him chill out for a minute before we head into the holding pen. As soon as I'm done running and I hop off, I get all four of those sports boots off, really getting rid of that heat on his legs, and then I will take him back to the trailer to untack him. When all of his tack was off and I also gave him a treat, I brought him up to where the wash racks are and sprayed down everywhere he got sweaty. I didn't completely spray his body down, but I made sure to get all four legs, his hocks, his knees, and anywhere there was sweat, like under the saddle. And then I put on my Ice Vibe ice boots, which are nice ice packs that also give him a massage. While his front legs are going, I put him back in the stall so he can really get his head down and stretch around. And he decided to drink his water really weird like this for a moment before fixing it. Once the front legs were done, I took him back to the trailer to do the back legs and he got to stand there and ice vibe on those. Okay, he felt so much more like himself. If you watched my last video, you know, he kind of was off for a while with the hog thingy. Kind of got that figured out. I'm still um, doing it like a lot of care for it. He's not lame. He was never lame on it, but I'm just kind of keeping up with it to make sure it doesn't ever make him lame. He is ice vibing on the back. I already did the front boots, but even with me kind of being all over the place, he was running a lot more like himself and we got second in the open and won the adult. Blew him past the third. That was completely me. I pulled with my outside hand and I shouldn't have and he really responded to me. So I was overall very happy with this. We won like $220, so it was pretty good. Now I'm getting his fly mask back on because it is time to load up and head home. And once I get him in the trailer to his hay bag, we start dropping all the windows so airflow can move freely throughout the trailer.
dinner. Yum. Kite also got a snack. So he doesn't feel left out. I'm gonna rinse out the syringe that we put his omeprazole in. And then I'm gonna put the sweat on his legs. So I'm gonna rinse this, get the sweat on his legs. He's eating dinner, he's happy. He had a good day. All good and ready to go. This is the sweat we've been putting on his leg and it's been really helping, I think. So I'm gonna keep doing it. But I only, right now I'm only doing it after he runs or has a hard workout, not all the time. The sweat can only be on Chester's leg for 12 hours. I don't wrap it, but I do just put the sweat on there. So it can't be on there for longer than 12 hours. So I'm gonna get up around eight-ish, go out to the barn a little bit early, rinse it off, maybe ice five that leg. And I will see you in the morning. Is that toy good? You having fun? Good night. <laughs> good morning, we are back at the barn to rinse the sweat off of his legs. It is much rainier this morning and I've already locked the keys in the car once so hopefully I don't do that again all we're gonna do right now is cold hose that leg get the sweat off his morning nap. He's not going to be happy. I'm glad he's resting his legs. I always really like that too and I hope he did have a good nap because horses can only get REM sleep when they are laying down so I always love to see him laying down if they're comfortable and sleeping. Obviously if they're getting up and down and up and down that's not good but let your horses lay down to sleep because it is great for them. He's gonna be, he, he hates the cold hosing so much. Come on, I got the fan behind him going. When I say cold hose, I mean I will be running cold water over that spot for around 10 or 15 minutes. I think it's great. I don't think uh, you should overdo anything and ice and water is the best. So he's gonna get really cold water run over that spot. It will reduce any inflammation. If anything was swollen, it would get it down. It is just great for so, so many things. I'm terrible at doing but that's just to kind of keep it out of the way because I don't want to get it too wet all right now that that is done he gets to go be in his stall I'm gonna give him a nice alfalfa snack of course Kai's gonna get one too can't have him left out Thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure you go check out the store i just added a bunch of new stickers and i'm working on some new merch huge shout out to everyone that bought these signed pictures you guys are amazing see you next time bye